So here we go, guys. Diablo 3 PTR 2.7.6 preview for season 29 in Diablo 3. Um, I'm very, very excited about season 29. Uh, wait, is it season 29 or season? Yeah, season 29. Uh, season 28 was an absolute blast for those who have been playing Diablo 3. I have not touched Diablo 3 since Diablo 4 um, started to release with, um, you know, the betas and the open betas and all that stuff. We've been playing D4 nonstop, but I am very, very excited to play some Diablo 3 again and participate in the last, the final season of Diablo 3. Now, season 30 going forward are going to be repeat seasons as far as I know. So let's check out everything in the patch notes and just kind of go over this. I'm reacting to this live. I have not seen these yet. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. Solo self found. For those who don't know what solo self found is, what it means is, is that you're playing the game solo. You never play with anybody else. And this is just playing the game as a solo player it means you're not playing at all with anybody else. Okay. Rax does this a lot for those who know Rax's channel and who Rax is. Um, Wuju also does this a lot in the game. So just keep in mind that when you're doing solo self found mode, this is just you. You cannot do party play whatsoever. So it's a full single player experience. We decided to bring it after years of requesting an official supported player mode without experience bonuses from being in a party or other players to protect your back. You play as a solo. Now there's also a leaderboard for this, and these leaderboards function like those of other modes. This is really, really cool. Uh, yes, Jay, D3 does have monks. This is very, very cool for people who are a solo player. This is phenomenal. This is so great. If they did this in, in like D4 and stuff, like that would be so cool. Um, the Seasons 29 Visions of Animity theme and other components were designed with the solo self found in mind. We urge you to test it out and give us your experience. Okay, so let's see what the seasonal theme is. The visions of anonymity, the nefarious ma uh, machines <laughs> of the burning hells have permitted or permeated every corner of sanctuary, warping reality in the process. Oh, so the disturbance has given away visions, pocket dimensions, Stepping through diabolical fissures. Okay. Nephilim level one or higher have a chance to encounter these by slaying demons in the open world. Should you should your smiting of hell spawn trigger a fissure, press onward into it. What horrors await on the other side are unknown, but the instances are rich in rewards. The visions are quite unstable and have the potential to produce additional fissures. Okay. All right. Um, but keep an eye out for these opportunities to maximize your chance of earning useful gear. There's new monster affixes. Watch your health, Nephilim. The new power. So in unnerviating, create an area of effect around the monster that reduces the player's movement speed and cooldown reduction. Ow! Yikes. Enerviating. Ugh. Necrotic. Player's healing is reduced. Okay. Monsters have a dot dam or yeah, a dot effect that deals 180% of the player's max health. Holy crap. This effect is removed if you're healed above 95%. Okay, that's cool. And then resource leech. Oh no. No, no, no. This is resource burn. Oh my god. 65 of their max resource? Yikes, bro. Oh my god, that one sucks. These two are actually really cool, but this one sucks. Oh no. That's not good. Um, I like the monster affixes. Like, I think this is cool, but this one sucks. Dude, resource leech sucks. Okay, we'll have to see how that goes. All right, Paragon Ceiling. We are introducing changes to how Paragon Points work in tandem with the solo self-found um, character and the theme for Season 29. You can assign a total of 800 Paragon Points to your character. Previously, you were only able to assign a total of 50 Paragon Points to each attribute in the categories. But now you can assign up to 200? 
in each attribute? What? Each category can only have 200 Paragon points placed into them. Hold up. Holy crap, dude. Wait. Oh, wait. I am misunderstanding. Hold up. Okay, I'm misunderstanding. Okay. Reality check, War. So before you could only have 200 points in these categories, the difference was is that each one maxed at 50. Now you can choose to either take one to four to 200 or divvy it up like we have in this diagram, uh, you know, picking whatever you want. So like if your character doesn't need cooldown, then you don't need cooldown. You can put the points somewhere else. Got it. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know if I like that initially. Let's see what the developer note is. We understand that Paragon uh, was king in terms of character power. It is. With the change this season, we wanted to shift that power from main stat grinding to gameplay and knowledge gear hunting. We chose 800 as our initial starting point. We appreciate your feedback on this cap. There are a few changes. Movement speed. Movement speed to 0.125 per point because the old value would have provided players with 100% movement speed, which was too much. What? Players now have the option to place points into this stat, allowing them to surpass 25% movement speed from item bonuses. Added a grift or greater rift map checkpoints. Oh, okay. Thank God. Like both of those are some of the better um, maps, but it did kind of suck because you would kind of backtrack a little. Uh, Corvus, Ice Caves, and Spider Caves maps no longer spawn in Greater Rifts. Oh, thank God. Thank God for this. Okay. Vigilante Belt. No previous bonus. While you're riding your horse, Fist of Heavens deals increased damage equal to your move speed and is automatically called down. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It's over now. That's what I'm talking about. This was by far the best thing in Season 27 for the Crusader, and it made Fist of the Heavens the best build that the Crusader had. And this is so good. I love that this is back. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, okay, Demon Hunter. Oh, boy. Let's see. Gears of the Dreadlands. Oh, God. Gain, so this is the old. Let's see what the new is. Gain four seconds of momentum stacks when attacking with a primary skill at a maximum duration of 20 seconds. So that didn't change. Here's the change. Your primary skills deal 10% increased damage per stack. Uh, this duration begins counting down after a delay of five seconds after each application. And then the damage per second is the same. We wanted Gears of Dreadland to be easier to play optimally. However, we had to forego the visual indicator that showed stacks. Okay, let me let me let me let me let me read this one more time. The duration begins counting down after a delay of five seconds after each application. So essentially, when you get to tw uh, when you get to twenty stacks, when you get to your twenty stacks. As soon as you hit your 20 stacks, after five seconds, it counts down. Then it starts to count down. This is amazing. I love this. So essentially you get to be at max momentum for a, a for five seconds, then it starts counting down. Oh my God. Gears of Dreadlands is going to be even nuttier. This is fantastic. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Witch Doctor, let's see what they changed. Uh, to cluck while attacking. Okay, good. I'm glad they changed that because this did nothing. Casting Hex. Angry ch Chicken turns all your pets into exploding chickens. Chickens deal increased damage. Angry Chicken deals more damage per exploded chicken. Okay. Uh, I don't mind this. I don't know how well that's going to be as far as like just a solid build, but this does make the angry chicken speed build better. All right. Mama Jamma. 
So here's the old. Oh, so this is all angry chicken stuff. So... Uh... So this didn't change. Oh, so you get more damage reduction. Okay. That's cool. Uh... Okay, so it deals more damage. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. Th this this is okay. It, it's not the greatest, but this is okay. Um, uh, we'll see how this is. We actually have, what, three days before this goes live? Absolutely insane. I'm really, I'm very, very curious about the fissures here. The diabolical fissures. This sounds really, really cool with the uh, monster affixes. Kind of cool there. Um... And the solo self self found bit, dude. Big dub here, big big dub, big big dub, man. D three in their final season is going out with a big bang. Now I want to keep in mind for those who don't know because we're gonna cut this video down, but this is the last new season. So really go out and enjoy it. Season thirty going forward is just gonna be repeat seasons of the previous twenty nine seasons. So this is the last new season. So I definitely encourage you to go enjoy it and test out a lot of things. Even though we've been mainly playing Diablo 4, there's a lot of people that know me from all my Diablo 3 content. And we will be pushing all of this content for you guys here on YouTube. It is going to be an absolute blast. We're going to be testing the Paragon ceiling. We're going to be testing Solo South Mount. We're going to be testing all three character changes. It's going to be epic. We are going to have an absolute blast with this game. So, guys, like the video, comment down below what you guys think about the Diablo 3 season. Let me know if you guys are even going to play it or if you're just solo sucked on Diablo 4. Um, and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.